the statistics about suicide and construction are pretty incredible. When did you start noticing that this was something that you wanted to be involved in and that was a problem that needed more specific attention? I've been through quite a few suicides with, with friends and, and you know a family member and that in, in my time. And there was a site I was on where, where an incident did happen mm. and I, no one knew what to say. So I got up and spoke to the guys after it happened and I just explained to them how very quickly things could compound to leading to a suicide. And as guys, how we need to do exactly what mates are pushing and talk and don't be afraid to speak to each other and say something's wrong. Why do you think that these problems are more associated with working on a construction site or, or with construction workers? Now, guys, we're these wonderful people that don't speak. We don't like talking about anything until it becomes this, this vortex. Mm. And what happens with suicide, I believe, this is my opinion, is that people get so introverted when they get to the end of the, their tether, people say, oh, but there's all these health services out there. Yes, they're out there, mm. but they're not in there. And that, that's, that's the biggest issue, is that when you become introverted, you won't reach out for help because you're so tied into your own world and how bad it is, you can't think of any other out than suicide. That's where Mates in Construction have done a great job, I believe. I mean, because they're the first organisation to really put their fingers in the pie and have workers in the workplace who can notice yes. when a mate is in trouble. It's very important that you realise that the problems will pass. You know, time, you know, it is what heals all wounds thing. It will make things better. The situation will change. And then if you make the decision to make a change, it's even better. It'll happen faster. But don't make the decision to take a permanent out to a part-time problem, you know, essentially. Thanks very much for coming along, Greg. Thank you. Life is bittersweet, so bittersweet. The workers at this construction site are looking out for each other and making a positive change. So it's time for me to get all of them to make one big promise for the campaign. Construction workers are two times more likely to suicide than workers in other industries, but we're making a change. I'm I'm